Hello everyone, I am Pallavi Divekar and we are back with the plant education series and in today's episode what are we going to discuss about? Well, let's find out. Who doesn't like the fluttering wings of the bees and the insects, even the flapping wings of the birds, bird songs, songs of cicadas in your gardens. If you want frequent bird visits in your garden, then you should follow the simple steps that we are going to tell in the further video. Just stay tuned and see the details. Hi guys, I am Aishwarya and I am a history and a political science grad. This wonderful friend of ours has made it a point to make plant education more accessible to all. So let's talk about plants today. Have you noticed that we have been westernized in almost all aspects of our life and the westernization has somehow seeped into the plant culture as well. We have been opting for more westernized exotic plants to be placed in our balconies or planted in our gardens which are very exotic to look at don't get me wrong but are they sustainable enough in the climate and are they serving the purpose of bird visits in your garden sure they're very exotic to look at but if you want life and more nature into your balconies and gardens we can have another very nice alternatives for that to happen for birds to be welcomed into your gardens and balconies and make it a more livelier space so details are to be followed here Hi, this is Dr. Kalyani Pavitrikar again with Pallavi Devekar. So, uh, for more birds to visit you, first you must understand what are the needs of the birds. Your garden must have some huge trees, uh, some native flowering plants, some weeds, some dried leaves lying here and there. Uh, use of organic fertilizers, use of organic pesticides uh, and so on. So, uh, and there, there must be some water source for the birds uh, to drink and to bath. Hello friends, this is Swati Gavande. Let's see some important note about the huge trees. The huge trees will be very helpful for providing the nesting grounds for the birds along with the shadow and the shelter. Huge trees like mango tree, almond tree, neem tree, the Indian medlar that is bakul, they have a huge expand and a canopy too, which is very ideal for the bird visiting your garden. That's it. Thank you. The native flowering plants provide food for insects and bees, even the butterflies. These butterflies and bees are very choosy upon which flower to visit for the blossom and collect the honey. So these insects and butterflies are very host specific. Then what is host specific? It means they visit very typical or specific flower for their honey or even to lay their eggs upon. So planting these bee friendly or insect friendly plants in your garden is the key basically the rule is to maintain the food the shelter and the water for the birds so that they can stay there make visits in your garden and feed upon so which are the native flowering plants then you should have you know in your garden so that these bees can visit your gardens well they are sunflower then marigold roses hibiscus Mogra, Krishnakamal, even lavenders, daisies, lantanas, etc. So, you can find all these bees, insects and birds if you have these plants. Hello everybody, this is Advocate Pona Mirwani Bhatia. Weeds. Some weeds, especially the one that bear flowers, 
yes as odd as it may be some weeds do bear beautiful flowers which attract the insects keeping those in your garden could be helpful too thank you hello my name is sopna deshmukh this dry leaves lie down and became shelter for the insects which became food for the birds and because of that it increased the frequent visit of birds hello everyone i am kiran hira nandani i'll be telling you as why we should use organic pesticides instead of the chemical ones chemical pesticides kills the larvae and eggs of the insects that are dwelling in a nearby area wherever they are sprayed so no insect zone is formed and there is no food for the birds to feed upon so please use organic home made pesticides like neem oil ginger garlic paste and salt water and many more hello everyone i am supriya kandelwal providing small water bodies for birds squirrel and insects to quench their thirst is a good idea placing a small bowl of water in your garden at different places can be helpful i'll tell you the importance of organic fertilizers like vermi compost leaf compost flower compost mushroom compost kitchen compost these all organic fertilizers will not only add the essential nutrients to the soil but will also make an ideal condition for the flora and fauna for their growth and not only these these earthworms are really a boon to your gardens so incorporate them and see them work tirelessly and transform your gardens oh, so these birds feed on insects and grains uh, planting uh, some native flowering plant in your garden uh, will become a uh, biological uh, ecosystem and uh, you will be surprised by seeing the frequent visits of the birds sitting on your home here and there so uh, go native and see the change coming